Welcome everyone. Welcome to my channel, Marine Safety. Today I will be discussing about the overhauling of connecting rod from main engine on ship. So what are the safety precautions? On finished with engine, get immobilization permission and propeller clearance from bridge. Under piston spaces and cabin space, ventilate by blower. Stop the engine. Shut off starting air supply at starting air receiver. Block the main starting valve. Shut off starting air distributor system power supply. Shut off safety air supply. Shut off control air supply. Shut off air supply to exhaust valve only with stopped lubricating oil pump. Engage the turning gear. Shut off cooling water, shut off fuel oil, shut lubricating oil supply, lock the turbocharger rotor, isolate the HP expansion tank, and uh, open the drain of the jacket water, jacket cooling water, and also open the purging valve of the drain uh, of the jacket water so that the air pressure from the atmosphere can help in draining the jacket water uh, through the drain valve. So let's start. What is the procedure uh, of overhauling of connecting rod from the main engine? So the procedure applies for two. With piston mounted and with piston removed. So first we will discuss discuss with piston mounted. Now suppose the piston is mounted in the engine. So how we will take out the connecting rod? So turn the crankshaft down far enough to give access to the nuts and screws on the piston rod. So turn the crankshaft uh, far enough down so that the screws and nuts on the piston rod can be uh, can be accessed. So you can see we are uh, you can see uh, the crankshaft is turned. So you have to uh, take out the uh, connecting rod when the piston is mounted in the engine. So what we will do is that uh, we will mount two screws over here, two uh, two screw hole at the top of the tank is for suspending the piston rod. So we will suspend the piston rod from here, and we will uh, screw off the uh, bolts over here so that the piston can be suspended uh, in the engine um, with this arrangement. Now after uh, after after putting the two two chains in the inner screw holes, what we will do is we will remove the screws on the piston rod foot, piston rod foot. So this is the piston rod. So remove the screw over here. Now after removing the screw, mount a lifting eye bolt on each side of the piston rod. So mount a uh, mount a lifting eye bolt here and here, so that we can suspend the piston rod in the cylinder. After that, turn the crosshead to TDC. Turn the crosshead to TDC. Uh, lock the chain in the lifting eye bolts in the piston rod. Turn the crosshead down, and the piston rod will then remain suspended from the two chains. Now you can see here how the piston rod is suspended. After suspending it, the piston rod will be suspended in the uh, uh, in the cylinder. The piston rod will be suspended in the cylinder. So now we have left with crosshead and connecting rod. So we have left with crosshead, upper bearing, lower bearing. And we have removed this connecting rod from here. Now what we will do is. Unscrew the nuts which connects the top bearing with the lower bearing. So we'll unscrew these nuts by the hydraulic jack arrangement. After removing this, mount a lifting attach attachment on the head of the connecting rod. So the on the head of the connecting rod, this is on the head of the connecting rod. This is the head of the connecting rod. Mm, this, uh, attach this one. So we will attach this here. So we'll attach. So we'll attach the lifting attachment on the head of the connecting rod. After that, we will suspend two tackles from the lifting bracket in the outward direction. Now we will put uh, I will put here chain block over here, and we will take out the top bearing cell. For removing the top bearing cell from here, we will put chain block over here. So by the chain block arrangement, lift the top bearing cell from the connecting rod. Now you can see how the top bearing cell is being removed from the mm, crosshead. So by this chain block arrangement, the top bearing cell is removed. Now we have left with crosshead with lower bearing and the connecting rod. You can see here we have a lifting arrangement for the connecting rod. Now place the uh, place the bearing cap on on the couple of wooden plank. Now fasten tackle to the lifting bracket uh, on the frame uh, box wall. So this is the frame box. This is the frame box. This is the now this is the frame box. Now this is the frame box. Uh, Fasten tackles to the fixed lifting bracket. So fasten here tackles. You can put tackles over here, so that uh, you can take out the connecting rod from the engine. Now turn the crosshead until crosshead upward until the piston rod lands on the crosshead. Ensure that the guide rings of the crosshead crosshead fits correctly in the center hole on the piston rod. Do not remove the chain or lifting eye bolts. So move the crosshead up. You can see move the crosshead up as the crosshead is moved up. Uh, it will come. It will just al uh, align in the piston rod foot. Now you can see attach, turn to TDC and attach the 
tackle hooks to the lifting arrangement. Attach the tackle hook to the lifting arrangement. You can see we have a lifting arrangement here. Before and I have told you that uh, we have put one lifting arrangement over here for the connecting rod. And in the frame we have put the tackle over here, tackle over here. And by the chain block and by the chain we have connected this two. Now, now support the uh, crosshead guide, crosshead shoe on the crosshead guide. So you can see this is the crosshead shoe and this is the guide. So put this four, one, two, three, four on each side. On each side we will put the this four support on the crosshead shoe, so that the crosshead is in the engine. So that the uh, crosshead uh, will not fall down. So we have to put this four. Uh, we have to put this four uh, support on the crosshead uh, shoe. So that the weight of the crosshead is evenly distributed on the four support. Hold now. Hold that tackle tight. So you can see hold that top, uh, tackle tight and remove the connecting rod from the engine. So you can see we have a tackle over here in the plate. Tackle, tackle over here. And then remove the connecting rod from the uh, crosshead. So we have one support over here, four support in the crosshead. And after that, remove the connecting rod from the engine. You can see the connecting rod is being removed from the engine. With the crosshead resting on the support, check the lower part of the crosshead journal and lower vessel bearing. So take out the lower cell bearing from the uh, lower part of the crosshead journal. In case where it is necessary to remove the lower bearing cell, tilt the connecting rod towards the doorway on the cam side, seizing the tackle. Dismount the locking screw and turn the bearing cell so far up that the eye bolts can be removed. Lift the bearing cell out of the So this was all about overhauling of connecting rod from the main engine. So I hope you all liked the video. If you like the video, please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed till now, please subscribe the channel. And if you have any doubts, you can comment me on the below section so that I can help you out. Thank you. God bless you all.